What up? It's your hobo, William Osman. If this uh, video is titled, I bought a Tesla, that's not true. I thought it'd be funny. Cameron and John didn't think it'd be funny. We still haven't decided if that's what the title is, but we set up a Christmas tree. It's been sitting on the top of my car for a week and kind of improvised some of the decorations, some motors. We'll have a tutorial video coming up. <laughs> this week started off as one of the weirdest weeks of my entire life. Probably the most awful week of my entire life. I don't know many other weeks I've had that have been this. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's like, it's, it's bad. And you guys turned it around entirely. And our goal right now is to just keep making videos because it's kind of the only thing we know how to do. And it makes me feel like we're accomplishing something. I can't do it, like there's nothing to do right now. Like my parents' house is under control of the National Guard. You can't go in there. Like we're just camping in front of a friend's house so we have power and stuff, but we're still in an RV. We had some stuff that was literally meant to post this week and didn't because my house burned down. So next week, maybe, I don't know. We haven't really planned it out too well. If you want to hear about how the how, like the story, I think we'll go through the story, like the whole timeline of what actually happened. We were working on the video that was supposed to come out this week. Hi, I'm Hermione Granger. And the power went out at like 9.40 p.m., basically 10 p.m. Power went out, neighbors were knocking on our windows, we went on the roof and we're looking up at the sky and seeing a bunch of smoke. And maybe 20 minutes like later, the, the sky started like getting down. really yeah. bright and you could see flickering. And we started getting phone calls from family. And I think at that point we realized things were bad. And it looked like it was towards my parents' house, so we went to my parents' house and halfway to my parents' house, which is like maybe 15 minutes away, we realized the fire was in between the houses. So we helped my parents evacuate. They've got two cats, Barkley, uh, a tortoise, that's it. And then we came back to the house, and by the time we got here, there were flames on the opposing like hill crest. We have a little snippet of basically the last thing I ever filmed in the house, is me just like panicking. Uh... Goodbye house, I'm like 50% sure you're gonna burn down. That's fire. Also, I apologize for the vertical video. This is a bad, this is a bad place. All right. It's weird, your priorities are really weird when you don't know if you have five minutes or 20 minutes to clear your house out. Um, but we grabbed a computer tower. I grabbed some random stuff. I grabbed that Bosch drill, the one I always complain about that stalls. We can, I, we can go through, do we want to go through this stuff I actually grabbed? I have the stroboscope, have my hard drives, computer tower, uh, some USB power packs, USB cables, and that's kind of it. Chelsea grabbed clothes, pictures, and it's stuff you need to, sentimental and stuff you need kind of immediately. And the next morning we drove up at like 6.30 a.m., sunrise is 6.30, and came up and saw the front house was still here and kept walking up and slowly realized that the garage and the, the whole house was basically gone. Like, so it burned down sometime like, like, I don't know, three in the morning, two in the morning. That's where Retina Smelter 9000 used to be. Right there in the corner. That's it, I don't know. And we, we stayed in a RV for the past couple days in a parking lot. Hey, bread cat, what are you doing? <laughs> and then our friends' houses, the evacuation was lifted, so we parked in front of them. And now we're just, I don't know, we're just doing, we sifted through the rubble. Take care, man, I got you a piece of braided hose. This is something about scientific device. That is... Oh, it's really hard to see what stuff is when it's complete. It is. Oh, wait. It's some sort of like oh, like what's this? Oh, no, it's the camera gimbal. Oh, <laughs> really? Wow. Oh, uh, you can see the carbon fiber burnt. Wow. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of stuff. What's that? I don't know, it's melted metal. Another uh, oh. computer power supply, possibly? That I found is... the evidence for the OJ Simpson trial. <laughs> Oh man, that is, I think it's a, yeah, I think it is a... He did it, he's guilty! Yeah, this is a necklace from my grandma. And look through there. That is... God, what is that? That is... No, I have no idea what this is. Oh, oh no! This is the actually, this is actually the one notebook I really wanted to save. This is my ECE 320 class with the like the logic. Nerd. <laughs> These look like I don't know what's going on here. 
like flip flops or something, and some sort of circuit to do something. There's many more reasons why not to eat it, but <laughs> that being number one. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I think it's probably just cooked. Nope. Dude, look at that. I got it. It's completely cooked. Nice. And we found a huge pile, so this is everything we need. Or not everything we need, but <laughs> everything we need, geez. Sort of documenting all the stuff we had. So the fire, the fire's still going on. It's in Ojai, Santa Barbara. I don't think it's coming back here. I don't think there's any way we could come back here because everything's pretty much burnt. And I think we're safe for now, but there are other people that need help. And I, I feel like almost unfairly fortunate. And so we're gonna do what we can to try and help everyone else. I think that's it. I don't know. So yeah, next week we'll have some videos. See you then.